Rocco is going to show me how to make fritelle de mele, which is a little apple donut or apple fritter. Um, last night I ate these with some fantastic local ham as a starter, but today I'm going to eat them as a pudding. So Rocco. Uh, Farina, so, so a little flour. Bye bye. More, more, more. Bye, 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 more. Basta, basta. Basta, basta. A tiny bit of yeast. A little touch of sugar. Voilà. Si, si. And some fizzy water. So this is making our simple batter. Okay, va bene. So the batter's made, and then of course, more things from Aosta Valley. It's very famous for its apples. Rocco's ordered me to core the apples. Okay. And then, how big do you want? So lightly flour the apples. This is so that the batter sticks to the apples. Drop them in. Rather than using sunflower oil, Rocco is frying the apple fritters in olive oil, which will give the whole taste a wonderful extra dimension. So I think the oil is about ready to fry the apples in. They need a good dunking. Make sure that they're well covered so the oil can't get in. Okay. There they go. Happily bubbling away instantly. The idea is that they really should cook straight away, not just be sitting there in oil that's not hot enough. Rocco's looking slightly nervous, um, which leads me to believe that the apples are ready. So I'm going to take them out. And just what I like, no kitchen towel, but some good old brown paper. Oh, yeah, yeah. After a long day skiing in the mountains, who wouldn't want to come back to these hot apple fritters covered in local honey? <laughs>